IHLS Studios in Tel Aviv. This is Homeland Security Weekly Report with Kate Lehman. Hello and welcome to this week's Homeland Security Weekly Report. In 20 years time, the Israeli military will look completely different to what it does today. Almost everything about it will change. This includes enlistment methods and general structure, and especially the Air Force and communication systems. So why is this? Because soon, unmanned vehicles and satellites will play an even more important role. This is according to academic research presented at the annual INSS conference in Tel Aviv. The Quick Response Unit was established under Chief Shaha Ayalon to improve response times and reach incident locations as quickly as possible. The authority has now acquired three BMW 650G S motorbikes equipped with fire and rescue kits at a cost of 200,000 shekels each. Different equipment packages were installed on each bike. Rescue tools, water and foam fire fighting systems, man portable tools, and the firefighting authority now intends to put this unique motorbike unit to the test. People interested in attending the 2014 Winter Olympic Games in Sochi are advised to take extra precautions to protect themselves from cyber attacks during the events. While the people behind the Olympic Games are already well aware of the risks, the attendees are not necessarily aware of all of the risks that they're being exposed to. That's according to Lisa Myers, a cyber security expert. 2013 was an especially successful year for Elbit Systems unmanned aircraft systems operations, where the Hermes family, in particular the most advanced of the UAV family, the Hermes 900, reported noteworthy achievements. Hermes UAS production rate was one per week, with dozens of platforms sold to customers across Israel, Europe and Latin America. A first of its kind delegation of the Los Angeles Police Department is visiting Israel in a unique fact-finding tour. So far, these kind of delegations have proven to be very successful for everyone attending. The groups focus heavily on visiting some of the high-tech companies in Israel where delegates network, learn about new innovations and deals are regularly conducted. More interesting groups are on the way, we'll keep you posted. The executive head of IT at the LAPD will be the keynote speaker at the Big Data for Intelligence event this Thursday in Herzliya, Israel, an event not to be missed. If you'd like to attend, click the link you can see on your screen. We're pleased now to welcome Richard Miller, who is security strategist and privacy consultant at IBM Global. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. In global and homeland security markets, cybersecurity is gaining more and more prominence. So how does IBM see this as part of an overall security system? Right. Well, the, the cyber problem in terms of crime, in terms of the, the organization and the monetization of cyber, you know, a long time ago, the level of uh, cyber crime in terms of monetary exceeded the drug trade worldwide. So, you know, I, I would never say it was a niche problem, right? But, and I'd say it is a problem, though, that sometimes is not viewed in, in the same way as a classical physical security world problem. Right, so seeing the convergence now with some of our customers along cyber problems, and if you're a, maybe a financial institution, fraud, right? How those two things fit together, and then not right now necessarily. It's a bit, you know, but I think as we move along and do sort of the, you know, analytics and uh, how we apply that big data problem to it, adding things in like, you know. Um, digital video surveillance systems, unstructured data, right? What are people saying about you know, the company um, in social media, right? All these things fit, fit together, exactly. If you'd like to see the full interview, you can do so by clicking here. Thanks for
for watching this week's edition and if you want to learn more about Homeland Security, make sure to visit our website. Until next time.